Hello everyone. Today we're going to do our week one Halloween challenge, Ill Fortune Awaits. We're not going to take a friend unit. I think we have more than enough with just what we're bringing. And the team that we are taking, we have White Mage Rosa. She's here to break the barrier. So she's dual wielding, rod and staff. Other than that, she just has some spirit and health gear. And she has okay light and dark resist. Sylvie for supporting. A little bit of light and dark resist. She just has some limit fill. Some spirit. Some health. Holy wand for dual white if needed. Serena. Who actually got boosted a little bit with the uh, patch. So she's just here to play healer. A lot of spirit. A lot of health. She's got high resist. And we'll see how she does. Grimlord Sakura, one of our damage dealers. We have her awakened and have her shift unlocked. So, base form, some magic, some killers. Just gave her the 4th anniversary card for now. Shift form, she actually can do heavy armor, which is nice. So, she's got more magic and some killers. So I think we're just going to be using the shift form. And I believe it's 275 human killers for both. Her partner is a bar. So base form, double hand, magic killers. She has her own card on. And shift form, do wield. And also killers. And I think we're just going to focus on the shift form. So she's got 275 human as well in shift. So let's take a look at this. Alright, what did you do? Uh, physical mitigation, that's the same as the farm event. Alright, so for achievements, we need to deal lightning three times, dark three times, no death. So we're going to add lightning to Rosa to help with that. We're going to do 200% buffs to everybody. And then I guess just 50% elemental buff to help out. Let's put up blockers, because I figured if everybody had status immunity. Plus, that's break immunity, too, so that works out. And we're going to do a bigger light element buff, which hers got boosted to 80% now. Alright, Rosa. See if we one turn that barrier. I think we will. Maybe. Okay. Well, we're gonna shift and we're just gonna unlock their multicast. Okay, that is human killer for everybody. And this is our multicast. And I don't want to break the barrier now. So I don't want to damage him per se. But I do want the killer. I do want multicast. Add dark element to physical attack. I could give her dark as well, or we could do... Not sure how much of a boost that buff is, but why not? 
because they're going to be chaining dark anyway. So I think we're, sure, we're just going to do the weakening appeal to get multicast. Yeah, because we got a buff from Sakura. So we don't need the extra there, so that works out. We'll break the barrier next turn. Okay. Oh, nobody died. I should have probably brought a Provoker, but whatever. So that's going to be... Yeah, because that's... So that's Lightning Attack number 3. That takes care of that. We just got to deal Dark three times, which Sucker and Anybar will take care of. Actually, I should check out where her uh, bonus move there is. So three on Cuckoo and a Corrupting Force, and let's see, what is your... Dark damage with Killers, so maybe open up with that. And then three Scythe. Oh, that was a huge hit. Couldn't tell if I didn't tap correctly or if that was just from AE moves stopping the cast once he got hit too much. Alright, hopefully that's all missions. There we go. Not too bad. Did have a free slot for a friend unit if needed but that's going to be the end of this video hope everybody enjoyed